Yeah, it is. Let's go. And I'm going to save. Saved. Now I have to find the door to the world map. Gotta stop talking in rising inflection. <laughs> there. <laughs> that ended horribly. Gotta stop talking in rising inflections as well. I was trying to say what really counts. Hee <laughs> hee. What? What's got you so happy? Correction, Lark. I'm extremely happy. Extreme. About what? Being here, able to continue the journey with everyone. It's hard, but I still have hope in my heart. Plus a bunch of... Dot, dot, dot. Other things. Other things? Like what? Well, dot, dot, dot. For example, dot, dot, dot. That thing you said to me before, it's keeping me going, even now. Blush. Oh. That was cute. A true miracle. Hey, guys! What's up, little one? Hmm. You know, if you keep pouting like that, you'll never stop being a little kid. So what? I'm celebrating my youth. Celebrating your youth, eh? You whippersnapper, get off my lawn! You know, Cecile, sometimes you sound a lot like a certain weird old 4G over there. Really? I haven't noticed. Do all the Divine Rays talk like that? Not necessarily. Refuse a little bit strange, too. Okay, a lot strange. Well, she was kind of sheltered. Yeah, but that much? How do you grow up like that? Oh, it's piqued your interest, has it? Well, not from a female perspective, from an academic one. Sure, sure, we can pretend to leave it at that. Could you? That'd be great. What was I talking about? I think I mentioned rising inflections. And so, to the light ship we go. Avoiding all sorts of things. So Ferris was this town, was it not? Nico's gratitude. I'm really grateful to you, Mr. Lark. What's got you into you all of a sudden? Well, you saved me from getting picked on by the officers when I was in the army. They weren't picking on you. They were reprimanding you for messing things up. So why did you save me then? They like to talk trash about us mercenaries, so I gave them a piece of my mind. And you ran away while I was doing that. Well, I can still thank you enough. You really saved my behind. You really have quite a gift for misunderstanding people's intentions. And so this was Ferris, right? Yes. I couldn't even get it to the save point! How dare you steal our precious water! But my mother is sick! She can't get better with just the rationed water! Dear God, man! Please! She needs water! Forget it! You saw the new laws put forth by Lord Alf? All people, young and old, male or female, sick or well, must obey the Imperial Law! Those who refuse to comply will be punished! No! Why? You are a criminal! And on top of that, you tried to resist! You will be put to death immediately! You're kidding! Ugh... It's things like these that make communism not work. Leave him alone! You want to try and stop me? You'll be headed for the gallows too, then! Then maybe we should put you to death before that happens. Ah! Uh, you'll pay for this! Lightweight. Are you okay? Thank you. But you can't go around doing stuff like that. 
Don't worry. Helping people in need is what heroes do. Nico! Do these people want to be part of the Resistance too? Huh? Oh, no, not really. Oh yeah, Nico. Kazov was looking for you earlier. He said he heard from Dr. Carlisle and he wanted to ask you something. See you all later. Thanks again. You take good care of your mother. Dr. Carlisle? Uh, yeah. She's a friend of ours. Oh, now that's good news. Nico, baby, will you let us come along with you? I don't like where this is going. At all. Uh, but... We've been looking for a woman by the name of Carlisle. Please, take us with you. Uh, okay. Let's stay at the inn for now. Save point. Something tells me we're in for a lot of cutscenes. Hey, Nico. You're alright, huh? Who are these folks? Um... We want to join the Resistance. This isn't some game, you know. Oh, these guys are totally strong. This is Lark Bright Lagoon. You know, the guy that Lord Alf is after. So you're Lark Bright Lagoon, eh? I heard they called you the Deathbringer over in the Republic. You're the Resistance leader? Nope. I'm the subleader. Oh yeah. By the way, Mr. Lagoon. You can call me Lark. Okay then, Lark. If you really want to join us, then I'd like to ask a favor of you. We've got one to ask you first. We're looking for a girl here named Carlisle. Carlisle? Oh yeah. She sent me a letter asking me to find you. Funny, huh? You know her or something? I guess you could say that. Okay, I'll let her know to come back here as soon as possible. So, can you do something for me? I need to rescue our leader. What do you mean? Our leader's being held prisoner by the Imperial Army. They're telling us to surrender if we want them to spare her life. Your leader's been captured? Seems like a pretty pathetic resistance if you ask me. Our hideout was hit with a surprise attack by the Imperial Army when we were out on an operation. They tried to fight back, but the Imperial Army's commander was too strong. We had no chance. So how are we supposed to rescue her? Our hideout is in the Hilbert Ruins right by here. I think that's where Banshu was. Our leader should be there, but there's too much resistance for us to have half a chance. We'll launch an attack to divert their attention. Meanwhile, you guys... Go in and save the leader, right? Lark! This is another chance for me to hone my hero skills. We're gonna help them, aren't we? Okay, we'll do it. But don't forget what we agreed about Carlisle, okay? You got it. Nico, you get a hold of Dr. Carlisle and get her back here. Yes, sir. <sighs> New destination added to the world map. Hey, aren't you that kid from last time? Thanks for saving me earlier. I heard what's going on from... Kazaf. So I decided to go look for this. Resistance pin. I can't accept this. I'm not officially a member of the Resistance yet, you know. I know, but the Imperial Army is no joke. You must be ready to fight. If you have this on you, you'll be able to buy things from the Resistance supporters in the shops with in Imperial territory. Please, rescue our leader. If you're that insistent, I'll take it. Thanks, we appreciate the help. Alright, so... Save early, save often. Measure once, er, measure... No, measure twice, cut once. Nico, the rebel. Well, doesn't Nico look all... gallant, dashing even? Being away from Lark must have taught him to be... Not to be so lazy with himself. Plus, working hard and keeping busy is the best way to take your mind off things. That way you can sleep at night without thinking of stuff you don't want to. Leslie has a stuff, she, a lot of stuff she doesn't want to think about. Especially when sleeping. 
Another remark full of hitting meaning, I see, courtesy of our dangerous lady. You think? Nico probably has his own demons that he needs to deal with. Demons. It seems like a departure for him, but I guess there's not much we can do to help. <sighs> oh, it's a guilty conscience that's driving him. I think maybe we should talk to him. Probably wouldn't work, though. Nico's still young. Uh, that'll... I doubt it'll take ta a long time for him to find the answer he's looking for. Same goes for you, too. Right, Leslie? Hehe. <laughs> you might just be right. So, to the world map. To go and kill things. Rising inflection. Nailed it. Uh, beyond time. Well, that was a shocker. Who would have thought you could turn people into rogress? Yes, like my father, Hardell, who became the rogress known as Sima the Liberator. Liberated. Sounds like your mother's sale had a wonderful relationship with him, even as his body transformed into a rogress over a millennia. Perhaps. Definitely. Your mother told you to meet Sima, right? That's your proof right there. Oh, the cat's running off to the oasis to drink their crystallizing water. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, this is horrible. Not only is yawning energy wasted, or a shine of sign of low energy, it makes other people watching the video yawn as well. Especially like, uh, oh, I saw a video on, uh, it was one of the Vsauces, and it was, it was about why yawning is contagious. And there's no possible way you can watch that video without yawning. Yeah. On the bright side, we're back here again. I figured there would be Imperial soldiers guarding the entrance. Well, there's only one thing to do in a situation like this. Bust through them! Ah, Cecile. Aggressive as usual. Of course, I'm kind of like that, too. Eyebrow raise. You guys should use your brains instead of your muscles sometime. Wait. Something's wrong here. We'll wipe up the remaining resistance. You take care of the rest further in. Guess Kazoff did his part of the bargain. Great! Now's our chance! Let's go! How did we get down here? Twenty thousand Rico! Kinda weak for a hero to fight, no? Piece of cake! BAM! Oh, of course. She just had to have the last attack. Oh, my. That looks pathetically weak for what's for its name, I guess. Uh, MP charge 2. Never get enough of those sort of items. Uh, uh, oh, I can go up here. There's a uh, lizard frog thing there. Do I have the map of this place? Yes, I do. I uh, missed something there. Missed a whole bunch of stuff there. Nothing there. Okay, uh, dodge the cat. Dodge the soldier. Hit the save point. Go over here. 
You know, you think when the soldiers come into this place, they clear out all the monsters. Oh my. <laughs> 